I'm Jamie, this is Dan, and this is our Fur Baby Cashew. We're taking a road trip through central Washington in our DIY fire truck conversion, and we're taking you along for the ride. We left off on what turned into a stressful travel day. Oh my God. We are getting pulled over right now. But we finally made it to our first stop of Leavenworth. We made it. We made it to Leavenworth. How are you feeling? Toasty, but really happy to be here. This sweet little Bavarian village sits nestled amongst the Cascade Mountain peaks and offers great food, year-round outdoor activities, and plenty of fun sights. Cute little Storybrook Inn. Beautiful. After a quick trip to the charming town to visit family, we were back on the road. This is a good a day as any to start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin Beginning to thaw Danger zone. 220, you better be on the side of the road. 230, your engine's dead. As a steep pass, I believe we are at the top. Looks like we're at a brake checkpoint. So let the engine cool down a bit. We're gonna roll down the mountain, use our transmission brake, and hopefully have no issues. In the creek bed.
We've made it to a really beautiful spot in Washington, south of Leavenworth. There's the bridge we came in on. It's just so pretty here. to do some off-roading today. Where first off, we gotta make it out of our campsite, which is extremely bumpy. We took the big rig down this road, going extremely slowly over all these rocks. You can see the antenna for reference. Bumpy. Right outside of our campsite, we have some neighbors. Look at those little turkeys go. Going up their little turkey trail. That's so cute. That's pretty cool. I've never really seen wild turkeys before. I've never seen a wild turkey. Well, now we have. Welcome to Washington. camping right at the base of the Elm Lake in Washington. Super beautiful riverside camping, full sun for solar. It's been a really nice campsite and now we are off to go see if we can off-road and drive to the base of the lake. That seems to be pretty low water at the moment. So there's a ton of exposed dirt. And when we were coming up here, it looks like there was just trails and tracks all over the lake. So we've got a four by four capable vehicle, good old tracker. We're gonna go take it off road and try and have some fun doing some ATV stuff. Yeah. We're 
doing a little busting on a budget right here. We have spotted a free car mat. We actually left our plastic mat back at home, so we don't really have a good rip your shoe off mat at the moment. Woo woo! So we're gonna go ahead and snag we this guy. Welcome mat. Hell I've yeah! One of these for free. For free. Now we have assembled a pots and the woods back ready. Whoopsie. Hopefully we can get out of here. They want people not to drive here. They put no trespassing signs. I hope we can get out of here. Oh yeah, the gate. I see it. It looks open. What's happening? I don't know. Let's just roll out of here before anyone says anything to us. Because I feel like we're not supposed to be here and we just got lucky. We'll just go ahead and just, we're just gonna leave really quickly out of there, out of that private area. Yeah, I don't think that was. <laughs> I think it was like someone like, coming into their property. I think so too. Bye! <laughs> Yep, there's that. It was gated like that. Oh, that yeah. worked out for us That's really convenient. well. <laughs> that, that is convenient. Jamie is being chased by bees. Because I have cashews treats in my pocket. Cooper Lake. Holy crap, it is beautiful. Just look at this. Unfortunately, my kayak had a small leak. We did a tiny little kayak session. Jamie's out there on her sup, riding around. Today has been a very, very eventful afternoon. A little stressful for me. A little stressful for me. So our inverter is not turning on, so I'm having to do a hard reset. We're turning the solar off, turning the batteries off. I'm gonna turn the solar back on. I should get the inverter to uh, Kick back to life, hopefully. Fingers crossed, we'll have AC in a minute. It's hot, I'm sweating. I should hopefully wake up the inverter. I'll start charging the batteries and then hopefully the AC. We'll turn on too.
taking a forced break from work because something's going on with our power system. No internet, just can't work. Got a meeting in an hour. Hopefully that's fine. These are the hard things about bus life. It's really hard and frustrating. I'm annoyed that I can't get some of my work done. Is it just the inverter or what? I don't know, it's something to do with the batteries and the wiring. Something with the wires, something with the battery and the wires is happening. I don't know. Dan's frustrated. I think our automatic circuit breaker might have gone bad or there's a short circuit somewhere in the system. Today has been a pretty stressful day. We've been in a heat warning, excessive heat. It's been over 100 degrees here and we've had AC, which has been pretty darn amazing. So I was watching our battery and we were climbing up to about 92% charge. So I was like, let's go ahead and turn the AC on. I tried, nothing happened. And I think I went into panic mode a little bit. Tried to fix the issue, which sort of messed up the internet. I just had to go to work today and I rely on our internet for that. There's no backup service here either. It's just like my phone goes into the SOS mode where you can only make an emergency call. That's how deep in the woods we are. So when we went to try the inverter, Nothing happened. Tried a bunch of different things, turning the batteries on and off, inverter on and off, solar on and off. It all should be working. There's power going right to the inverter. Well, that's because it is working. It turns out we ran a wire going from the inverter all the way into the truck and then back. That's sort of like an on off switch. At some point, something must have happened to that wire, must have got snagged, something must have broke last night because it no longer works. However, if we bypass it, we'll have AC again. So. There's a solution. So that was our struggles for today. Struggles of bus life, really. There's always something that breaks, always something. It really is. I feel like something to go wrong. all that we do sometimes is like thick Yeah. Anyone else? If you have a DIY bus out there, DIY van out there, you'll know the struggles. At least it's an easy fix, thankfully. So. <laughs> That's good. It seemed like a tough fix to me as someone who knows nothing about electrical things. I'm looking forward to AC again. We have taken the signal wire, we have cut it, we're going to strip it, we're going to connect it, and it should turn on. If it turns on, then that means everything else is working and we'll have AC power. So let's see if this works. All right, so the inverter switch box turned on, which is good. Let's see if the actual inverter output, oh, there it is. There we go. We got output. How awesome. But also annoying that that had to be a thing. All right. I guess that's what happens when you DIY your fucking wiring. Did it? And did it. Have AC. Let's go enjoy it. <laughs> He's falling asleep in the water. He's so tired. He literally has not moved in the whole minute that this video has been taken. His tail keeps going lower and lower though into the water. <laughs> What kind of bug is that? Looks like some kind of beetle. It does. Big gross beetle. No thank you. No thank you. <laughs>
been fun. Alright, so we're making our way over. It is pretty darn packed out here. Our dog is yelping. Is that him? No way. I feel like that was him howling. That seems like a howl. Holy crap. He acts like we treat him like we just leave him all the time and the truth is we just never leave him and that's why. Yeah. He has bad separation anxiety. We got some signage. They're gonna be bumping. This place is popping. We made it though. We made it. to this spot for now because some ass decided to park and bump music till like 4 a.m. I am not a happy camper this morning. I am grumpy. These hooligans played music all night. Am I so out of touch? No, it's the children who are wrong. I probably got two hours of sleep. I have to work today. I'm a full grown adult. I'm not a youth anymore. These youths stink. They just stink. I'm so grumpy. Don't be like them. probably just had one of our worst nights of bus life. We were at a beautiful campground. It was right next to the river. Absolutely gorgeous. Until we got some neighbors. They rolled in at 10 o'clock, set up maybe 20 feet from us, 15 feet, really not that far. This area is massive and there is literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of campsites. They just happen to pick ours. They get their camp set up and then the music starts and thumping bass until two in the morning. I think it was genuinely until four in the morning, past four. Absolutely terrible. We identify more with like the retired RV crowd. We like a nice cozy dinner and go to sleep at a reasonable hour and call it a night. So yeah, we were just like it and we just moved. Drove up the way a couple miles to a snow park. It's really nice here, really quiet. We got Starlink power. It's pretty nice over here, and we've got another camper neighbor. 
far to the other side. So we're keeping our, you know, keeping our good spaces. Keeping it respectful. Respectful oh distance Over between there. us and them, as one would say. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed a week in the life. Just keep watching, you know, maybe, maybe things will get better and we'll have some fun adventures coming up soon. We just got a alert that there is a fire about 10 miles away from our home. This is really stressful, so I might call City Hall. City Hall is scam. I heard just about some fires in the area, and I'm wondering how do we find out about like evacuations? Uh, evacuations possible. Get you know prepare. Our neighbors saw 12 fire trucks like drive by. That's 12 more than I'd like to see. <laughs>